Baffert said. Yeah, it's Bob Baffert here to see Pharaoh. Thank you. Thank you. Where's my boy? I don't have any carrots, dude. I'm sorry. Look at him. And he looks unbelievable. Look at him. I, I could use him next week. <laughs> do the old switcheroo. <laughs> uh, you could probably still do it. Man. And here we are with another shot at a Triple Crown. It's just, it's hard. You got to pinch myself sometimes. When I got into the thoroughbred business, I didn't think of this. I just wanted to, I just wanted to be a quarter horse trainer. Bob Baffert's beginnings in the sport unfolded far from the Triple Crown Trail, training quarter horses on a dusty old track in Arizona. He was raised just down the road, on a ranch along the Mexican border, with his six brothers and sisters. We had cattle, and, and uh, we had a chicken farm. We had 20,000 laying hens. Baffert Ranch eggs, that was our business. Back in the day, everybody knew each other. We would cross the border as easily as you would cross the street, have lunch and just walk right back. My dad had a few quarter horse mares and somebody told me, I think they're bred for racing and uh, that's how we got involved with it, just as a hobby. He made Bobby his exercise boy and Bobby was exercising uh, race horses at the age of 10 and 11. My dad lived for it. My dad lived through Bob. When I was 14, I, did, I wanted to be a jockey. So my father bought all the equipment and I started practicing on a ex quarter horse that we had. That was my Kentucky Derby. The 37 year wait is over. American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown. American Pharaoh, you know, one of the reasons he means so much to me is that, you know, I'd lost my parents. They weren't there for that one. But I always felt like they were riding the journey with me. You know, I felt like I had an angel riding on my shoulder. And it was them. And then here comes Justify. You know, I, I still feel that they're there. They're, they're, they're there for me.